Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Noobs. Uh, been a little bit since I put up a new video. Uh, it took last week off actually because I had a real nice video the week before. Uh, 230 kills and I wanted to promote that for two weeks in a row. So big shout out to everyone who came in and liked that one. Um, tonight's video, we're going to be announcing the giveaway winner. Uh, I'll do that towards the end. That's of the PS4 or the Xbox. And um, also be talking about some of the league play uh, announcements they put out. And uh, it's over a nice gameplay of uh, where I go 77 and 10. So uh, stay tuned for the whole thing. Uh, make sure you stay tuned till the end for the giveaway winner. And like and subscribe. As always, leave a comment. So let's talk about the update that came out uh, Tuesday, January 29th. This was supposed to be a huge update. Uh, there was supposed to be lots of weapon balancing uh, across multiplayer. Um, some blackout updates with armor and uh, a bunch of other stuff. I don't really play too much blackout, but um, I, I think the uh, grenades and the concussions as well. And then uh, there was supposed to be uh, league play, hopefully. This is like the third time that league play was supposed to come out. It was supposed to be December, then uh, mid-January. And now it's not looking like it's going to come out in January. It's definitely not coming out in January. And now the new uh, set date for it is mid-February. They actually don't have a set date. It still just says mid-February. Mid to me means late February at this point because they've missed so many deadlines with this already. So that's what was supposed to be in today's update. It was supposed to be a huge update. And turns out we didn't really get any multiplayer um, weapon balancing or anything. Um... It's about time they address the Titan and some of the other LMGs. Uh, it's just a little bit ridiculous. Uh, they really need to take care of that. I know a lot of people getting pissed and leaving the game and not playing because of things like that. Like FMJ2 and Thermal on the Titan, while well, you still have the, um, the movement speed of some of the other classes. It's pretty crazy. That being said, um, they did do a few uh, pretty important updates for Blackout. That is the concussions, the um, cluster grenades, they nerfed both of those. Uh, they nerfed the effects of the concussion grenade when it hits a player. I think you could do a few more things. Your hip fire spread uh, when you're stunned is a little smaller so you can fight back. I think you can change your stance and you can change weapons and uh, it doesn't blind you as much. Um, I haven't played since, since that update's been put in so I couldn't tell you how it is but I definitely think that's a step in the right direction. Just from reading the description I think they need to do a little bit more. Um, it still has the combined effect of a flash grenade and a stun grenade and it's more powerful than a stun grenade ever was so definitely still needs a little balancing there in my opinion but i haven't played it yet so i'll let you know another time um the cluster grenade i believe they made it um the initial explosion is a little bit more delayed and then the little i guess sub grenades that branch off of the large one um do less damage so that's definitely definitely a good change because you couldn't even react to that thing being thrown at you and if you did the little ones would still like kind of chase you and blow up near you so definitely good change there and now for rank play uh this is definitely what i am most disappointed about um Besides the lack of just overall content that they're putting into this game, which is pretty much nothing. They put in like one or two camos every week. Um, this game could be really awesome. They could keep a lot of people in it if they just put more into it. The game itself is so smooth and the gunplay is some of the best in COD's history, in my opinion. Um, this could be a top three COD if they just gave it the attention it needs. And for some reason, I think someone told me today i gotta look up myself that treyarch has 600 employees if that's true um i don't know what the fuck they're doing man because um i feel like some of these changes could be made with a team of 40 in the amount of time that they have it's been like the, the game came out in october so it's been almost four months now and um a lot of things need changed and they haven't been changed so it's a little embarrassing so now uh, I'll actually talk about league play. Um, so this was supposed to come out in back in December, and it's just update after update. They're cleaning it up, they're refining the systems, blah blah blah, whatever. Um, league play was perfect in Black Ops 2. I also really liked it in uh, COD World War 2. Um, they had pretty good rank play systems in there. I don't know why they don't take what they have that's good, just put that in, and then I guess you could develop your version of whatever you want it to be while we have that one there um you shouldn't hold the feature back just because it's not ready like put something there for people to do instead of just 
leaving the absence of it altogether. Um, I know lots of people who bought the game strictly to play competitive because it was marketed so heavy uh, when this game was announced, and it's not here. Um, so that's what I thought. What I want to talk about today, it's still not here. So reading the update, um, what they're doing is they're updating the CWL rule set, and what that is, if you don't know, is the uh, the COD World League. Uh, that's what CWL is, and that's where the professional players play in tournaments, and uh, they have a, a pro league uh, where they compete for money. Um, so they take all the junk out of the game and play with the stuff that requires the most skill and makes the game the most balanced. Um, that includes maps, specialists, score streaks, certain guns like shotguns and LMGs aren't allowed. So when the game came out, they kind of didn't really make the greatest CWL rule set. I mean, they still had uh, Prophet Seeker drone in there. They had Ajax in there who can use the shield and kind of be invincible if uh, you play with him, right? And his 9-bang is definitely the best thing in the game. Um, so the players basically agreed not to use these things. Um, and that's something that works for them because they're all pros. They're making money and they can kick people out if they um, decide to use them or whatnot. For everyone else, uh, in ranked play, you have no way to ensure that someone's not going to use that. Um, I mean, people use the flashlight shotgun and the thermal titan in uh, public matches, so there's no way they're not going to use that stuff when winning actually matters in ranked play. So what they're doing now is uh, they've updated the CWL rule set, which in my opinion is a very good thing um, that they're taking the time to do this. But they're taking about five times the amount of time they should have to do this. So it's getting a little ridiculous. They took Ajax fully out. Torque is fully restricted. Uh, Prophet Seeker drone's gone. Firebreak's reactor core is gone. Seraph's tact deploy is gone. And uh, band score streaks. They had some before. I, I don't recall exactly what they are. They also took out Dart and RCXD. If you play any competitive, you know that Search and Destroy is littered with those. Um, I think that's a good thing that those are out. Uh, additionally, Zero, uh, the character, um, just both her things are gone, so there's never really a point in running her. When they initially announced how League Play was going to work when it first came out, um, they said that it was going to be unranked scrims during the week and uh, actual ranked League Play on the weekends, probably Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So just three days of um, of League Play and then unranked scrims during the week. I don't know why you would ever play an unranked sc scrim. Um, there's really no point if you're not getting ranked for it. So, uh, with the announcement today, they actually announced that that is changing. They're going to do kind of like a, I, I forget exactly what they called it, it's uh, almost like a gauntlet. You play a certain number of matches and you can only play until you uh, accumulate around three losses or something. So if you've ever played Destiny, there was a, a system called Trials of Osiris where I think you couldn't actually lose at all and you had to win nine games straight and you got like a special reward. So this could be interesting, it could be something cool, depends how they do it, what do you get for winning the matches, um, and if you keep winning them, how long does your streak go and are you rewarded more for amassing a greater streak. Uh, that could be great, definitely better than unranked scrims. Um, they dove a little bit into the reasons of why they're only going to do the league play on the weekend, and that's because um, they anticipate it being a smaller uh, player number than the other game modes. I mean, they already have it broken up into zombies, multiplayer, and blackout, so this would further divide um, the subcategory of multiplayer into two categories. Um, so I guess, in a way, that does make sense. Um, especially because in ranked play, you're also divided up. Um, your lobbies are going to be skill-based matchmaking. So your potential people you're going to match against a play is going to be even more divided than the total player count in the competitive mode. So I guess that makes sense. Um, that's probably a good change. You won't experience as much lag, and you'll find games quicker. Um, overall, just the point of that disappointed at how long it took to come out um, and we'll see how it is when it actually comes out so looking forward to that anyways um, if you stuck around this long the giveaway winner um, congratulations Cole Valente um, big congrats on winning I'll reach out uh, we gotta figure out if you want an Xbox or a PS4 so I'll be in touch soon uh, I think I have your Twitter yeah I do um, so I'll be in touch soon. Congrats on winning. And uh, 
I'll be doing some more giveaways soon. Leave a comment down below what you think I should do. And uh, as always, have a great night. See ya. Mission objectives green across the board.